Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the latest Escape from Tarkov update. Several new weapons we'll take a look at in a minute, but first we're going to take a look at the new scav mode. We get to play as a scav. Scav AI should be friendly, unless we shoot them first. And I think we can get out with the gear that we obtain if we get out alive and put it into our stash. Plus, we don't get to lose the stash, or we don't have to lose the stash that we've already got. Because it gives us random gear with a scav character each time we play. So we can just get used to the... I'm pretty sure that was a scav. I probably didn't have to kill him. Uh, I'm, pr I'm probably in big trouble right now. Reactions, though. Those re... But reaction time. <laughs> oh, his shotgun's got a flashlight on it as well. Nice. I guess if everybody's a scav, the players and the AI, it's hard to know who's who. Maybe just the AI talk more. Oh, shit. Dude's limboing on the stairs. Freeze, motherfucker! I love breaching rooms. The sound effects are amazing, guys. Every time I jump into Tarkov, I just I just get impressed by the sound design. I give him a kiss. I give the sound designers a good kiss, right on the lips. Even that bulb buzzing, the fluorescent bulb buzzing. Ugh, oh, it's amazing. Let's get to that exit and see what happens with the loot from Scav mode. Okay, so that's scav mode. We managed to get out and kill one AI. I think it was AI. It scared me either way, so I, it died. And, uh, we're going to drag out the shotgun and the pistol, and then just as test purposes, because I want to see if uh, the scav AI, which is what it looks like, that's our stash here, uh, we can just drag it across whatever we've got in scav mode. And of course, we didn't take anything in out of our stash because we went in with a random loadout of scav gear with our scav character. So we can just fill up our, our, our stash with scav uh, looted items, depending on uh, whether we make it out alive or not, of course. So we just press next now. Then once we're on our main character screen, if we go to the bottom, we should have the shotgun and pistol. So we got that from scav mode. Didn't actually take anything in. This is my main character loadout, of course, as you can see. I didn't go in with this guy. I went in with just a pistol and we come out with a shotgun. So I could have, could have, in theory, taken all of that stuff out. But just for test purposes, we get a shotgun and a pistol uh, from scav mode. Which, as I've said, is probably a good way of getting good without actually losing all of your gear. You can go in with scav mode, random loadout, not have to worry about your stash items. If you die, you haven't lost anything about your stash. You just go back in again as a scav until you get good at the game mechanics, gun mechanics and stealth. And then go back in to lose a load of gear with, with your real stash stuff and stop being a wimp. Which is what I'm going to do now. I'm going to go in with the new weapons and show you the animations quickly and probably lose it all and get salty. Okay, guys, it's night time on the uh, on the servers, so I have just found a little hut that's got light in it. So I can show you these animations in a bit more detail for these new weapons. First up, we've got the MPX and the DVL-10 sniper rifle. So I'm going to go through its animations here, take a quick look around the weapon, and fire off a couple of rounds. Sounds like we got visitors. Hopefully they leave us alone. Let's fire a couple of rounds. Next up, let's take a look at the DVL-10 sniper rifle. All right, mate, he's showing off his gun, isn't he? That's what he's doing. Magpul. Fast 308. Okay, we might be safer down here. Not the best location to have tested out uh, firing uh, new weapons in, in Escape from Tarkov. AI were everywhere. And let's go through the animations quickly before we take a look at the two different variations on the SKS. Oh, 
Let's have a nice little look over our weapon. I do like the animations. And now let's fire off a couple of rounds. Smooth animations as always. And the sound effects never fail to impress. So now let's take a look at the first variation of the SKS. This one looks pretty standard to me. I think the other one's just a slightly different stock. This one has two different chamber check animations, so let's check those out. This one's slightly longer. And this one is just a quick little check, make sure you got a round in there. Reload animation. Nicely done. And let's fire a couple of rounds. Okay, so now we're going to take a look at the OPSKS, a slightly different body to it. Let's have a little look around. Looks nice. Again, same two chamber check animations, one short and one slightly longer. We have a PSO scope on this one. I'm trying to be safe because I just keep getting shot by those scabs, all players up on the surface, so I think down here we're, we're, we're safe in this bunker. Hopefully. He was pretty close. So there we go guys. We've seen the new weapons, animations, heard them fire, checked out scav mode, and gained some extra loot without losing anything out of our stash at all. Even if we died. It's a win-win situation. Have you checked scav mode out yet? Probably, uh... Probably check it out if you haven't. Pretty good for gaining some free loot. That's if you can get out alive. Because these scavs and other players are lethal. How many times I've been one-tapped? I, I couldn't count. Couldn't count. Too many. Hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to leave a like as it helps the channel out a lot. And I'll see somebody ahead of me. Rest in pieces.